If you're a fan of the CSI type of programs, then you know how important it is to consider all of the evidence at a crime scene. In tonight's school patrol, families put the pieces together to solve a puzzle involving mysterious remains. Um, go ahead and grab some gloves. You can't tell it yet. Everyone wants to touch the brain. That's what I get all the time. But these visitors to the Adventure Science Center. Hello, guys. Good Hello. to see you. Are about to solve a crime. Anthropologists pretty much study things that are not alive. And today, that will be bones. Frank Ansa. So without the skeletal system, we will be more like uh, goo. Is today's instructor. All our muscles are attached to our bones. In the family science lab. The family will be the team, and today you will be acting as forensic anthropologists. As in most unsolved crimes. There was a couple hiking. They went with their dog. The dog wandered off a little bit. The bones tell a story. When they caught up with the dog, it was digging in a pile of dirt. They got closer, they saw the top of a skull. They immediately called the police to the scene. The police found bones scattered all around the area. The Family Science Lab encourages families to learn together. You'll be looking for the evidence. Shauna Lee and her family. So let's take a look at this one, guys. Let's put it up here and go ahead and measure it. Are calculating. Plus seven three. Plus seven three. Point five seven. To determine the victim's height. So how tall was this individual in units of feet? Every 30.48 centimeters equals one foot. Their conclusion. According to all of these wow. measurements here, measuring the for the I femur. think we have Shaquille O'Neal here. Yeah. We have a seven foot individual that uh, is based on this femur. Meanwhile, other forensic anthropologists. So let's look at this one. That one is the same as the male. Are coming up with different ideas. The female's angle is wider, it's greater than 90 degrees. Oh, this That's is greater. like a male. Yeah, it's the male. It is the most difficult bone. There's also determining more details about the deceased. I'm wondering if this is like arthritis or something. It has some sort of disease, so we're going to say yes on this. An uh, elderly female. She is probably around five, eight. Five, nine. And determine the height of somebody is what is amazing to me. Every little bit is important to a case. We found a lot of stuff and it is actually male. So look down here. Does this look like it matches? They're even using Slim here for help. I'm trying to find where this bone goes. Though the findings differed, they all agreed it was a unique family bonding time. And the kids are more involved when we're a family learning this type of thing. We homeschool our kids, so having extracurricular programs like this makes it easier for us. Feel free to come up and look at some of these real bones I have here. By the way, it was determined that the remains were those of an older man with a height of between 5'7 and 6 feet tall. It's believed he had bone cancer.